Oh, Chief. Hey. hey keep no, you... I actually just got here. So I see you brought a friend. Come on, man. She's an employee. Is she now? Were you homeless just the other day? And now you're some... <laughs> it's a long story. One I'll say for another time. Right now, we're here to celebrate. So how about you work us some magic? Huh. Fine, then. So, we made it to the top 100. I think that calls for a toast. Cheers. Oh, that's good. I wanted to start off with a thank you for all your support. I mean, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be president of anything. You're just being modest. If anything, I should be thanking you. If I weren't so naive, I wouldn't have had to drag you into this mess. But you, you're just what a company needs. You're decisive, dependable, a good judge of character. Life itself is better with you around, Kasuga-san. Speaking of character, let's talk about the guy who pulled one over on you. Who is this jerk ass anyway? He's the president of a very big firm here in Yokohama. Serious? And he just preyed on you out of nowhere? Yeah. I never thought a professional on his level would do that. You see, I just inherited my company and didn't have a clue how to run it. It was a time I really needed somebody to count on. Then suddenly I met this business tycoon who seemed really genuine. I ate up every word he said. And you paid the price for it. Yeah. <sighs> Every time I think about it, I feel so stupid. Well, it's not like anyone can really blame you, right? I probably would have done the same thing if I was in your shoes. Really? Yeah. And remember, the fault lies with the deceiver, not the deceived. You did what anyone would do. I know you're just trying to process things. You don't have to beat yourself up. Kasuga-san... You're right. I know it's pointless to punish myself over something in the past. Yep. And no matter what kind of company the shitbag runs, he's going down. Together we'll climb the ranks, make it to the top, and leave him begging for mercy. Yeah, we will. We'll even get big enough to completely buy him out. We'll take back all the businesses he stole, and start our own holdings company. I like the sound of that. And with that attitude, nothing's gonna stop us. So keep your chin up, yeah? Enjoy the ride. Right. <laughs> There's that airy chan smile. Honestly, I saw you looking kinda down, so I got a bit worried. Oh, was I acting strange? Sorry, it's just... Something on your mind? You know you can always talk to me. <clears throat> How should I explain this? I was just thinking about my dad. Oh yeah? It's like... Um... Whenever I see you smile, I always think of my dad. You two are so alike. That's why I got so emotional all of a sudden. But I wasn't feeling down or anything. Don't worry. Oh, okay. Wait a sec, though. If I remind you of your dad, does that mean... Maybe he had a... Handsomely carved, yet delicate face like mine. <laughs> Kasuga-san, are you just trying to compliment yourself? <laughs> no, I was being an idiot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you don't have to call yourself that. In any case, I wasn't referring to your appearance. It's the way you carry yourself. You're funny, outgoing, always full of energy. You make everyone around you smile. My dad was just like that. He always made me feel safe and secure. 
To be honest, so do you. <laughs> Is that right? I wish I could have met the guy. Sounds like we would have hit it off. <laughs> I'd like to think so. All right. Then for an awesome dad like yours, I'll put my heart and soul into making Ichiban Confections the best it can be. Now, there's no way I could ever replace your old man. But I can protect his legacy. Would you help me do that, Eri-chan? I don't think I can do it alone. Oh, you won't have to. I'll help you every step of the way. Please. But I know you've got so much on your plate already. You're sure you'll be okay? Oh, well, I know this won't be a walk in the park, but I have good people on my side. Good people? Yeah, a group I trust with my life. Can't get much done without them. So I'm sure it'll all work out. Call it a gut feeling. <laughs> Bet they'll give me tons of shit for overdoing it, though. <laughs> it sounds like you're all close. Hey, you okay there? Kasuga-san, could I ask you a favor? Uh, yeah, what's up? Do you think I could ever be part of your inner circle? Huh? Look, you've been doing so much for me since the day we met. But I feel like all I ever do is watch from the sidelines. That's not really fair, is it? So I was thinking I could play a more active role in your daily affairs. That way you could focus more on management without feeling bogged down by all your other stuff. That's a win for you and our company, right? I can't think of a reason for me not to join. I don't know. We all walk a pretty tough road. Shit gets out of hand non-stop. You don't want to risk getting hurt, do you? I'm fully aware of the risk. A and trust me, I won't be a burden on that front. Okay, but... Harry-chan, as much as I like the idea, I just don't see it happening. Please, let me be the one doing you the favor. Besides, if you say no, I'll just tag along without your approval. <laughs> Guess that doesn't leave me much choice. Don't expect any hand-holding, though. <sighs> Fine by me. Okay. I'd say that's worthy of a toast. Welcome to the party, Eri-chan. Cheers! Cheers.